everybody. How are you doing well today? Mark G with the C back with another video. Today's video is going to be a vinyl update. I have briefly surfaced from my um, cave dwelling cavernous underground death metal journey I have been on. And I've got four uh, vinyl to show you. Um, and those of you who watch my videos who are very familiar with the underground death metal you'll be pleased to uh, see you probably know these ones um, so let's get on with it let me show you what we've got we have got Gorguts considered dead originally from 1991 this is a 2016 repress on listenable RC records this album um, they're from Canada originally, Gorguts. They are more known, sort of renowned, or notorious for being very sort of tech death metal. This is their debut. This isn't tech death metal, I wouldn't say. This is this is old school death metal. This is this has got the sort of beginnings of did I show you the back? This has got the beginnings of technicality. You can sort of hear it in there, but it, it's old school death metal. Um, it's got those time changes. Nice card in there. I like listenable records or issues. They do, they do a nice. I prefer them when the card and not just the, the soft uh, paper. Cool picture of the band there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they, they've got those time shifts. Um, recorded at Morris Sound Studio. I always got a real feeling of. Um, sort of day aside, that's how that that I always sort of compared the two bands a little bit. I know day aside with the evil side of things lyrically, um, but they always kind of reminded me that sort of staccato riffing. And, and this comes on a lovely red vinyl with the custom label on the inside there. Uh, like I say, an absolute classic, it, it, it's it's up there. Um, it's probably one of the best uh, death metal debuts there is, really. So very happy to have that on the nice red vinyl. Gorguts, considered dead. That is followed up by another classic from the um, death metal genre, Suffocation. And their, is it their third album, I think, this? Yeah, third album, Pierced From Within. This is the first one by Suffocation to not feature Mike Smith on the drums. The guy who took over on the drums on this album, I forget his name, but he is awesome as well. This is, uh, what year was this? 95, and this is a 2016 repress again on listenable RC records. Now this is I suppose what you would call tech death. Um, I, I'll never forget when I first heard, I'm sure you the inlay again, I'll never forget when I first heard Suffocation, uh, Human Waste and Effigy of the Forgotten was my introduction to them. And then it, it, it sort of took death metal onto another level altogether. The drumming, the riffing, it was just heavy. Well, this album peers from within. I'll show you the vinyl. Nice blue variant. This is um, chaotic, aggressive, brutal death metal. There's elements of. I'm sorry about leaning down to get these, but I kind of have to put them somewhere. I haven't got a. I haven't got a desk screen in front of me, so I have to put them on the floor. Um, yeah chaotic brutal aggressive death metal but there's some there's some nice little elements in there the odd sort of melody and I, I quite like those little moments it kind of gives you that little moment to breathe and you, you're like whoa you know and then it gets back into the brutality but what was the drummer's name let me find out because he does a fabulous job I have to say Doug Doug Barn Bone B-O-H-M Seems mad seeing uh, Frank with hair as well. That's uh, a bit like me. He looks like me now. This kind of haircut. But yeah, I love this album. It's um, kind of 
the, my drop off point back in the day for suffocation really was, was probably this album. I've since uh, returned to them as an old uh, uh, metalhead, but uh, yeah, fabulous. Very happy to have that in the collection as well. Next, uh, oh, did I say where they were from? New York, in America, everyone knows where Suffocation's from, surely. This is a UK band, and one I didn't have in my collection uh, on CD. I do have Gorguts and... Um... No, do you know what? I don't have Pierce from, from Within on CD. I've got Considered Dead on CD. The, uh, the marvellous Jim Davis um, sent me that quite recently. But you can't beat having it on vinyl, especially red vinyl, can you? Um, right, where are we up to? Uh, yeah, Bolt Thrower, Those Once Loyal. Um, their eighth album, eighth and final album, it's exactly what you would expect from Bolt Thrower. It is, oh, I have to be careful because on these gatefold editions, I always put the vinyl on the inside. Let me show you that opened up. Yeah, Bolt Thrower, you get the, the heavy riffs, you get those sort of melodic leads constantly over it. Um, the song The Kill Chain, when I heard that, um, I could have sworn it was like one of the tracks off War Master. It's a real return to that sort of early 90s because originally was, this was released in 2005 and this is 2011 repress on Metal Blade. Uh, Lyrics on the inside there, a nice sort of piece of bolt thrower art, or the sort of monikers that they had. Um, different drummer on this, Martin Cairns, who's unfortunately passed away now, but he's, a, in my opinion, a much better drummer than Andy Whale. I like Andy Whale as a drummer, um, but there's something a little bit tighter about Martin Cairns drumming. And I'm going to show you the post on the inside as well, if my camera is big enough. It's never going to go on the wall list, but um, they're always nice to have in the collection, aren't they? Keep it inside there. So, yeah, nice piece of that. Um, again, as of with suffocation, I'd kind of dropped off Bolt Thrower um, from probably the fourth crusade onwards. Um, and like I say, as I, uh, as I get older, I'm going back, revisiting these bands and um, being the collector I am loving getting to add these to my collection normal uh, black vinyl there okay and the last one I'm going to show you today is a, a 1992 album originally and this is from Sadus from the US of A a vision of misery this, uh, yeah, nice to original. This is a 2017 repress again on Listenable RC Records. Sadus are brutal, technical, thrash speed metal. Absolutely fabulous band. Um, Swallowed in Black is one of my favourites. This guy, Steve DiGiorgio, now plays in Testament. He was previously with Death as well. Fabulous musicians. Very, very proficient. Um, this is just in your face, as brutal as it gets. Thrash metal, almost sort of teetering on the perimeters of, of sort of death metal. I'm sweating, I've got a sweat run down the side of my head there. It's a balmy evening in the UK today. Um, yeah, great band. <clears throat> I have got this on CD, but um, check this vinyl out. I know some people don't like the splatter, but, you know, music and the variance of things is all about opinions, isn't it? And I, uh, I'm i a sucker for it. I'm old school. Back in my day, it was all black vinyl. So to get the odd uh, coloured variant nowadays is great. This is their third official full length, if I didn't say that before. Uh, just brilliant, 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 uh, aggressive, fast thrash, screaming harsh vocals. Steve Giorgio tended to use a fretless bass, so you, you add that certain nice style and sound to it, like a nice rumbling, rolling bass sound. That's it, Gorguts, 
suffocation bolt thrower and sadus like i say um quite mainstream i suppose for what i've been listening to recently um and i'm getting good at this i'm even going to remember what i'm gonna i'm even going to remember to show you what i'm listening to get my words out this is um coffin's japanese death doom metal this is um a 2020 re-release on the Hammerheart Records from Holland of the 2020-12 March of Despair and the 2015 release Craving to Eternal Slumber you can hear it in the background it's exactly what it, I said before it's death doom metal it's heavy uh, dark slow riffy sludgy brilliance <laughs> i am so hot i'm sorry if i uh, i'm appearing to be a bit of a sweaty bastard but um i'll kill myself down with a bit of swedish um apple and mixed berry cider cheers everybody thank you very much as always for watching taking the time to listen to this old man going on about the music that he loves until i speak to you again look after yourselves take care everybody bye for now <laughs>